It's one of my biggest honours playing for Northern Ireland, um, and it always will be. If I can be a role model to one girl, then that's my job done. Me and my dad obviously just started to play out the back um, when I was a kid. He said that I was always kicking the ball, it was never in my hands. So my mum's friend, um, she was involved in the ladies team, she said, listen, bring her down, see if she likes it, um, and the rest is history, yeah. I don't think I would be where I am today if it wasn't for my family, um, my parents, grandparents, and the rest of my family. Um, they've made it very easy for me, um, run me from one end of the country to the other when I was a kid. Normally it would have been that when I was younger it would have been boys playing um, in the playground, boys run about the street playing football and I would have been the only girl but times are changing now and it's so exciting to see um, so many young girls playing. See this is all I could ever have dreamed of as a kid, like growing up all I wanted to do was play for Rangers, um, a team that I've supported since I was a kid. I'm a massive Liverpool fan. Um, always absolutely love Stevie G. Now I'm walking into the training centre, bumping into him in the corridor. When I was a kid, this is all I could have ever dreamed of, um, and it's all I've ever wanted to be. And now that I can say that I'm a professional footballer, it's just crazy to be honest. Obviously, it's a really exciting time to be a kid, um, coming up through the ranks in Northern Ireland. I know that there's really great programmes set in place by Electric Ireland and stuff like the Shooting Stars programme. Um, and when I'm flicking through Twitter, flicking through Facebook, all I see. Um, um, it's hundreds and hundreds of kids playing football and that's where it should be. Um, it's nice to be in a new environment, meeting a new set of players and gel with a new team. So yeah, I just can't wait till the season starts. Me and Demi have played together for a couple of years and we get on really well. So it's been so nice having her about. Um, obviously it's a bit of home here. Yeah, we've had a laugh to be honest so far. Um, living together has been some crack. Oh, no, yeah, she's selling in uh, very well. I've took her on the wing. It's going to be brilliant for us. I think um, you know the more players playing full time, the better. Um, I think that would be obviously ideal for for Kenny and the staff, and um, obviously for all of us as well. Yeah, we're really, really enjoying playing under Kenny. He's brought about a complete new style of play, um, which I think everyone's really enjoying. And every camp where I'm working hard and I can see improvements already. I'm at an age where I really need to keep learning and developing, and I feel like that. The environment under Kenny has really helped me to do that and um, I'm becoming a better player and learning a lot every time I'm in camp. Such a good feeling, honestly. Walking into the changing room and seeing your name on the back of a shirt, a Northern Ireland shirt, it's, it's surreal, honestly. But um, it's one of my biggest honours playing for Northern Ireland um, and it always will be. And uh, hopefully um, it will last a long time and um, hopefully I can make it to 100 caps like a few of the other girls have. Kids coming through the pathway, it's it's possible, and um, girls can achieve anything that boys can achieve. And if I can, um, if I can be a role model to one girl um, that's coming up through the program, coming up through playing football in Northern Ireland, then that's my job done.